We live at very interesting times now because we are all aware about climate change. Maybe because some of us or most of us have experienced extreme events that are attributed to climate change. So maybe strong floods or strong heat waves or devastating tropical cyclones. But the case is now we are all aware about climate change. And the way you can see it is also through the way we have received the last IPCC report. We are no longer discussing about if climate change is real or induced by human activities. We are now talking about what should we do? How can we act? How can we limit climate change? And that's great because we really need to avoid going towards the worst scenario of three or four degrees Celsius of global warming. We need to stay towards 1.5 degrees Celsius of global warming and to stay at the lowest level of greenhouse gases emissions as possible. And the good news is that we can still do that. We have still solutions that we can implement towards mitigating or uh, adapting to climate change. And we still have time to do it, but we need to start now. My name is Dr. Peter Kalmus. I'm a climate scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Los Angeles, speaking on my own behalf. I am terrified by what I see happening to our planet and by the inaction that I see coming from world leaders. They talk about this being an existential crisis, but they keep expanding the fossil fuel industry, therefore running 180 degrees in the wrong direction from where we have to go. The more fossil fuels that humanity burns, the more we will lose as a species, the more we will lose in terms of our collective future, the project of humanity for thousands, if not millions of years, and the more this planet and biodiversity on this planet, the only place in the universe we know that has life will suffer. It's very clear, we wanna save more, we have to stop burning fossil fuels quickly. We have to end the fossil fuel industry, ramp it down as quickly as we can. I don't know what it's going to take to get world leaders to do that. I can tell you for sure that if they could see what I saw and if they felt as terrified as I do, and if they had as much concern about their kids and about life on this planet as I do, then humanity would solve the problem of climate and ecological breakdown in just a few years, not a few decades, not going to net zero by 2050, which is complete crap. They would do it very quickly out of a sense of urgency and out of a sense of love for their kids and all of the life on this beautiful planet. We are in a climate emergency, make no mistake. We must end the fossil fuel industry as quickly as we can.